If I were to say to you, diesel fuel sprinkler system, you might think, now that sounds like an awful good time. And I'd agree, except diesel's kind of expensive, and ultimately the problem we're dealing with here is not my diesel fuel sprinkler system, but rather that the return lines on my Mercedes have decided to disintegrate to a point where my car has turned into a diesel fuel sprinkler system. Anyways, what I'm getting at here is I'm going to replace my return lines. Let me show you where these are and why you probably need to replace them. In order to do this, it's pretty simple. You're going to need some needle nose pliers, some kind of a little screwdriver perhaps, and a new set of return lines. Now I've always used a variety of different return lines. I've heard people use Tigon line. I got some uh, Viton line from McMaster car, which worked good for a long time but just recently has started cracking and spring and leak, so I don't know what the deal is there. I decided to get this green braided Viton line. The McMaster stuff was not braided and uh, lasted for many, many years. And so this stuff is supposedly pretty good and it was pretty cheap to get the whole kit with new end plugs and pinch clamps and everything. So I thought, hey, why not give it a try and show you what we think? So let's move into the engine bay and show you. So if you have a 617 or 616 or comparable Mercedes diesel engine, this is probably a pretty familiar sight to you. We have our Bosch injector pump down here with our hard lines that run up to each of our injectors. And on each of those injectors is these little soft return lines. And this one back here just has a plug in it. So essentially we're going to remove all of those, including our line that feeds back to our filter head here and replace all of those with these new green lines. So basically all this involves is we're gonna take our needle nose pliers, just grab that hose and gently try to extract it off of those injectors, preferably without uh, damaging the nipples on the injectors and actually getting the hose to come off. Now I think this one was our problem one. I think it got a pinhole in it here somewhere because I was getting fuel spraying from all around uh, injector one or two. It, like, I mean, it was, it was a geyser. It was really, really bad. So essentially let's get these all pulled off. Okay. So I'm going to take our little end plug here, push it into this new piece of line. All right, now we're seated all the way in there. So I'm going to take our pinch clamp and put a pinch clamp right there. Just about dead square on the edge, as close as I can get it. I'm going to stick another one on here. so that we're prepared. Once we put it onto the nipple on the ejector, then I can just move it down with the um, needle nose. So let's do that. If you hold them all up next to each other, you notice that one is significantly longer than the rest. So this much longer one goes right up here from our number one injector over to our filter head. So I'm gonna install that one first. That's got all of our new injector lines all the way across here. So let's start it up and check for leaks 
and then we'll be ready to hit the road. There we have it. No more leaky return lines. Everything's staying nice and dry. We'll uh, have to wash all this off. Oh, I need to put my... Uh... That, that would have made for a very, very slow drive uh, next time I take this car somewhere. I disconnected the uh, linkage that goes to the injector pump to make it a little bit easier to get this number three to number four return line uh, put in place but with all that hooked back up we're ready to hit the road everything's staying dry well, that's all there is to it we've got all the new return lines put on my car here and that solved our diesel fuel sprinkler system so as much fun as that idea sounded probably better to keep all the diesel inside of the lines and going into the engine where it belongs but if you'd like to do this to your car if you've got leaky return lines or just want to change them out so that they're biodiesel friendly or things of that nature. All the links, everything you need to know is down in the description, as well as it will be on my website, trythistv.com slash W123. So I'm making a page over there that is going to try and comprehensively list all the various projects and have links to all the stuff so that if you need something for your car, you can just go to trythistv.com slash W123 and it's going to have all the videos as well as the products and other interesting things that are going to be coming soon to the website for your W123 or similar body car. So that's all. Thanks for watching.